Hello everybody, uh, today we're going to do a couple of algebraic proofs um, just to give us an idea um, how proofs work and how to justify each step of whatever it is you're doing. On number one here, as you can see, we have 4x plus 6 divided by 2 is equal to 9. We're going to prove that x is in fact 3. Um, our first statement is rewriting uh, the original problem, what we're given, and that is of course our reason. This is what we are given. Um, Next here, we need to fill in this blank. Um, it looks like on the other side here, we multiplied two, 9 by 2, so we multiplied by 2 on this side of the equation. Um, that we, we just applied the multiplication property. Um, what happens here is the 2's will cancel out. Multiplying and dividing by 2 undo each other, and 2 times 9 is 18. Um, we did, applied substitution. And think of it as simplification. When we simplify or rewrite one quantity for another, we substitute it. All right, next here, you can see that we are taking away 6 from both sides. So we um, are applying the subtraction property. And then, again, substitution. We'll write what's simplified. 4x is left on the left side because the 6's go away. 18 minus 6 is 12. That goes here. And then it looks like we are applying the um, division property um, over here. We're going to divide both sides of the equation by 4. Divide by 4 on this side, divide by 4 on that side. Substitution, x is now by itself. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. So we, here we just proved, step by step, the answer to the algebraic equation. Um, and x does in fact equal 3. Let's look at number 2. We have 4x plus 8 equals x plus 2. Our first reason in any proof is always given. And it looks like here we are taking away x from both sides. So we are applying subtraction. And then um, again substitution. The like terms combine. 4x minus x is 3x. x minus x We're left with 2. And then D, it tells us over here we should be applying the subtraction property. So we need to subtract 8 from both sides to isolate x. 3x plus 8 minus 8 on this side is equal to 2 minus 8 on this side. Okay, 2 minus 8 is negative 6. And then we're left with 3x here. So we did a substitution. We substituted one quantity for another. Um, looks like here we're doing division on both sides, dividing both sides by 3. So that is the division property. And then we substitute um, by simplifying. 3 over 3 um, cancels out, becomes 1. So we're left with x and negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. And x equals negative 2. That is what we were trying to prove all along. All right, and that's it for our two examples.